Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's David here. Today, I want to show you how to get a Game Boy Advance emulator on your PSP. And to you need custom firmware for this before you start off. And nobody comments saying it's 6.31 a custom firmware because it's not. Okay, so download the file from the link in the description. You're gonna get this. Right click, extract, and you're gonna get this folder. And now go plug your PSP into U um, USB mode. Go into your PSP. Go into the folder called PSP Game. And you're gonna dra drag and drop that folder into the game folder. So once it copies over, you're going to go to the second link in the description and it'll take you to the site. And here's where you download the games um, for Game Boy Advance. There's a ton of them. But for demonstration purposes, I'm going to use Pokemon Emerald because it's the best. Click download. and download it. I'm going to download it to the desktop. I should download pretty quick, it's about six megabytes, seven megabytes. Alright, there you go. Now you're gonna have this other RAR file. And to put the game on your PSP, go back into your PSP, go into the GPSP, go into where it says GBA, and go into ROM. Now drag and drop the Pokemon Emerald into the ROM folder on your PSP. And that is how you install the games and the emulator. Now I will show you the emulator itself. Okay, so we're at the PSP right now. And you're going to go into your game folder. And there it is. Um, this emulator is a custom eboot. So, and I got it from someone else off YouTube. I'll send you a link to his channel. But I didn't I didn't make this one, but I really liked it so I kept it. I kept it. The original one's really plain, trust me. Not as cool as this one is. Okay, the PSP does not wanna dis it doesn't display the emulator on remote joy live for some reason. But trust me it runs at a hundred percent speed. And um when you try to use a save state it says circle to, um, to confirm, but it's really X, just so you know. When you use a save state, and you just save the games that you would normally. And that's it, and thank you for watching this video. Sorry about the inconvenience, but it's just that. Um, apparently this program doesn't work with Remote Joy. Like, so if you want to record Game Boy Advance gameplay on Remote Joy, guess you're out of luck, because it doesn't work. Alright, thank you for watching. See ya.